What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm actually recording this intro on a different day, but guys, for this video, the whole entire goal was to buy a bait out of the bargain bin and then catch a big bass on it. So guys, if you like these challenge videos, leave a like on the video. Also, the comment of the day is popping up. So if you guys wanna be in the next video's comment of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe, hit the bell button, and then leave a comment down below. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, folks, we are here at the bargain bin section, guys, and look at all the baits here. So we got this whole entire clearance section. We got two sides of the wall and just baits everywhere. We got live targets. We got H2O Express. Literally all the baits. Rapala. Guys, so many baits in here. Crank baits, all sorts. We're going to choose out a few baits and we're going to take them to go fishing. So anything you really wanted to be looking for was sold about three weeks ago. Um, so what we're left with now is just the cannibalized garbage that you would otherwise just never buy, but now you're only justifying it because it's on clearance like these. You'd never buy these, but they're a dollar. So you're really missing out if you don't buy them. Take it from me, I spent $900 at Walmart on stuff that I'll never use because I thought it would save me money. Guys, Hunter spent $900 on fishing lures from Walmart because they were on sale, so. It was 75% off though. 75% off, so I mean, that's a lot of lures. He doesn't have to buy another saltwater lure forever, but we gotta find some good stuff out of this bargain bin, guys. What are you looking at? Voodoo mullet. These are actually super good. Voodoo mullet mm -hmm. for saltwater? Yeah. Nice. I mean, you can use this as a fresh water. It's just this one bait. True. Really good action. Look at this, Sutter Step. Look at all this stuff, guys. We got Booyon here, we have Strike King. Dude, look oh. at all of this Oh stuff. my, I oh hate my. these though. Look at how stupid. <laughs> Hold on. That's a long boy right That there. is the longest boy. Guys, look at all of these live targets that they have in the clearance bin. There's tons of them. Look at that. Guys, check out this Berkeley Square Bill. Kind of like a sexy shot color. Was seven bucks, now it's 350, half off. Not bad. With a chartreuse on the bottom. I think that'll be a good purchase for today's really cool. fishing, guys. I'm definitely gonna buy this. Sunfish. Oh, it's tough, dude. Which one should we get, guys? We have sunfish. Sunfish color. We got like the sexy shad and we got the chartreuse. I gotta go either chartreuse. I gotta go these two. I don't yeah, know about the, the bluegill. The bluegill is a little that's I'm going with the white one, guys. Guys, there are so many baits here, I am like overwhelmed. All of the biggest companies. There's baits from every single one of them in here. So far, I've chose the Berkeley Square Bill. I think that'll be great for the ponds we're going to. But I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, we have, there's like soft plastics too galore. I gotta find a soft plastic that I like. I don't know, guys. Hunter, dude, what are you thinking? The whole entire thing, what is the best deal for the clearance section? Probably Paul Brown, Brown's Fat Boy. I gotta be honest. What is that? Uh, it's a topwater spook, but it's made of soft plastic. It's primarily for saltwater, but I've never used one. They look pretty cool, though. Best deal, I think. The best deal. What's the best deal here? I think you're the best deal. I went away from the bargain bin. I'm checking the aisles and check this out. A dollar off every single yum bait in the store. So you got five inch Cinco's in basically every color you want and also four inch Cinco's in a variety of colors. So what I think I'm gonna go with, it's just kind of a neutral color. So we got the green with the, with the red and gold for only a dollar 99 guys. All right, Honor, I got my baits, dude. I got my beats, guy. Where's my truck? All right, guys, so we got the stuff. We, we got, what are those, taquitos? Takis. Takis. We got, we got Takis, we got the baits, and we got a few pawns to hit up, guys, so I'm excited. We're gonna go ahead and review these baits in the, you got my, oh no, I have my keys. folks we are here at pond number one we are here with hunter say hello 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 and guys this pond probably looks familiar because as you guys can tell we are here at the sinkhole baby guys if you guys don't remember this video it, this is like one of my most popular videos was filmed here but anyways guys it's a little windy out here but we're gonna go over the baits that i chose from academy i don't know how the audio is but bait number one was some yum dingers guys and these were a dollar off making them a dollar 99 an eight pack of yum dingers my second bait is this little berkeley square bill i don't know how you guys are gonna be able to see that's a little bit better 
of Berkeley Square Bill guys and it was $6.99 and it was brought down to $3.48. And the last bit I have which is tied on right now is the lipless crankbait and this was $2 off. Little rattle trap, my favorite color guys. We're gonna see if we can't make it happen out here. Got him. Got him. Oh, he might be big. Nah, he's, he's all right. He's decent. I told you that we were that we were getting bites. Not a big one. <laughs> a smaller one, dude. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Barely got him. I told you I was getting bites. It's just it's just because they're biting. It's so soft. Look at that. Really white bass. They don't have much to relate to out here, guys. So sun's bleaching them, but that's not a bad first bass. On the little lipless crankbait we got out of the. The bargain bin at Academy. Sweet! We're gonna go ahead and let him go. There we go. Were you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, first fish. Let's catch some more, dude. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. The hook set's just entirely different. Yeah, I feel you on that. Fish, fish, big, 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 big. He's making a run. Oh! Snap! Like a five pounder, dude. Here, get up close. It's like a five pounder. Holy cow. Dude, he, he made a run from all the way over here. Come here, come here. Oh, he wasn't as big as I thought. Look at that, though. That's a treble in the finger. That was, that was close. Nice bolt cut. <laughs> Is that what my hair looks like right now? F fix me up, dog. Fish line. Fix me up. It's the best uh, gel holder there is. Woo! <laughs> All right, folks. Check that out. Not a big one, but they fight, so I could have sworn. Oh, I'm looking like a dingus, dude. I was saying this is a five pounder. It's like a two. It wakes like a five. Two and a. Sh like, they fight so hard out here, dude. Look at that. I am so pumped. Yachty, no, we saving money and we're catching fish. Big games. The, the two best things in life saving money, catching fish. Two of the good, most good things. All right. What should we name him? Daryl. Daryl? All right, Daryl. You ready to watch Daryl go? Get up close, guy. Who's All right, Daryl. Does he look like a dink? There we go. Woo! Got got yes. The, got the loaf sweat. Oh, no. Guys, that was that was so close up to the shore, too. I was just casting the bank. It felt so big. They fight so hard out here, guys. I got to try. Oh, he's on, he's on. He doesn't feel big. There we go. Not a bad fish, guys. Don't you do it. No, sir. No, sir. -y. Look at that. Dude, look at how white that bass is. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, guys, there he is. These bass are so white out here because there's nothing to relate to. And they're so unhealthy because their mouths are soft, like gooey. It's weird, but that's not a bad fish. I'm gonna go ahead and let her go really quick. We're gonna name her uh, Samantha. Oh yeah, she was ready to go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. Three fish, baby. Yeah. There he is, there he is. Oh snap, did you see that? Nice, nice bass, nice bass, ladies and gentlemen. Keep her down. Dude, do you see how much these fish fight out here? There we go. Not bad. <laughs> Not a bad chunk. There we go, guys. Chunk, chunk. On the lipless crank, they fight so hard out here. These are definitely some solid bass, guys. Just, wow. <laughs> Gonna go ahead, let her go, bass number four. See you, girl. Bye. On bass number one. <laughs> Hunter hasn't had a bite yet, but guys, normally people who go fishing with me, if I'm out fishing them, they catch the big one. Alrighty, folks, I tied on the square bill. We're probably gonna take like 10 more casts here, something like that, head to another pond where the Cinco is gonna be the beta choice probably. But I'm excited to throw the square bill around, see if we can't get a bite on it. So far, we've caught four on that lipless crank, so I'm trying to catch at least one on the square bill that I got. All right. First cast with the square bill. All right, guys, so the key with the square bill is basically what I'm doing is casting it out, and I like to hit the bottom as much as possible with this thing. Of course, when I'm talking about knowledge, I'd nest. All right, guys, so what you want to do... Professional fisherman, you nest. 
That is it for this pond, folks. We are gonna head to another pond, fish with these bargain baits. I'm pumped. Let's get there. All right, guys, me and Hunter, we are here at pond number two. We gotta check the Cinco off the list. So both of us, <laughs> nice burp by the way. Hunter is throwing his yum dingers that he got for a dollar off. I'm throwing mine that I got for a dollar off. The only thing is he has his wacky rigged. And four inch. And four inch. And mine is five inches and I have a Texas rig. So let's see if we can't catch some fish here. I haven't fished here in like half a year. Oh! Oh! Come on, baby! Let's go! Right at the shore, guys, on the Cinco. Oh my gosh. Woo! Look at that, right in the side of the mouth. Not coming off, ladies and gentlemen, on the Cinco. Let's go. Wow. Look at that. Look at his battle scars he's got on him, too. Double up, baby, guys. Hunter has one, too. The fish are biting. It's getting dark out here. Uh, how am I going to let go? I'm going to let him go way over here. We do need a new Cinco though. You guys will not believe just <laughs> what happened. I catch a fish and my GoPro dies. As soon as I do it, every time, I'm telling you guys, it's good luck when my GoPro dies. Always catch one, but a little small guy. It's getting really dark out here. So I don't know how, much, how many more fish catches we're going to get, but I'm going to set this little camera up and uh, fish this little point for a little bit more. All right, guys, an absolutely wonderful day of fishing. Me and Hunter, we killed it. Excellent. So we're actually here at our favorite pizza place. We're going to go in. I'm going to show you guys my favorite pizza. And it got a little bit too dark outside to record, but we're going to talk about how we caught those fish today And once we get inside. This is it, folks. My favorite pizza place, Blaze Pizza. All right, guys, we got the pizza. What would you put on there, Hunter? What was, it? what was the move? Um, caramelized onions, red onions, red peppers, hey, roasted garlic. Show it off. Show us what's happening, dog. I mean, wrist whipping. Balsamic demi glue. A little mm. olive oil. Dog, you know, give, us, give us a show. Show us what's going on. A little dog. ovalini, mozzarella, parmesan, you know, shredded mozz, you know, pepperoni, hey. salami, uh, hey. you know, applewood smoked bacon, the, arugula. The whole shebang um, right there, guys. You know, two kinds of sauce. Just saying, dog. Sponsored by Blaze Pizza. <laughs> Spon sponsored by Blaze Pizza, but we got, you know, just your, your typical pepperoni, mozzarella, sausage with a drizzle of ranch and hot sauce. But guys, today's fishing. Let's talk about that, dude. How'd you catch him today, Hunter? Give us the give us the rundown, because you caught him at the second pond, but we didn't see it because I was over there on the other side of the pond. So how'd you catch him at the second pond? Sure got napkins. You know, four inch, yum dinger. Uh, hey, with, but you got those a dollar off. Uh, two dollars off. Yum dingers are two dollars off. For real? Mm -hmm. I didn't even see that. One dollar ninety-eight off. Four inch cream pumpkin yum dingers. Yes. Four uh, gamagatsu hook. Gamagatsu. You know, just bouncing it real quick. You know, got about three. How, how many you end up catching? Four. So all in all, it was an awesome day. I caught six fish in total, and Hunter caught four fish in total. So an awesome fishing day. The weather was just beautiful. We ended up catching a lot of fish on those bargain lures. The only fish you caught were on those bargain cincos, and I caught them on that bargain lure uh, rattle trap, and then also. Stick baits. Yeah. Oh, don't call them Cinco's. That's Gary's butt. Guys, it was an amazing day. I'm going to sit here. Munch down on this awesome pizza. I highly recommend if you guys are in Tallahassee, if you see a Blaze pizza, they literally put, it's like a Subway. They put everything on the pizza that you ask, and they throw it in the oven. No extra charge. You get every topping in the store. Every topping for like eight bucks. Blaze pizza sponsor me, but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Smash that like button and hit the subscribe button to join the Army of Strongest Fishing Army on YouTube. Leave a comment down below so you are in. The next video is comment of the day. But anyways, guys, that's it. We're going to munch, and I'll see you guys.